Hello everyone, I hope you're all having a lovely day. So I want to make this tutorial, um, this is hopefully going to be a short tutorial, but this is basically regarding a technique I did with my air kit blend shape regarding a client. So basically I worked on a client named Lycia during a stream and I did this technique where basically the client acts if I can make it where the, um, where basically the cheek, so when it comes to like mouth shifting, or like cheek squint basically, that they want where the cheek would go outward. And after doing that, a lot of people wanted to have a more specific tutorial regarding how to do that, mainly because it gave a lot more of a squishy look to it that gives a more expressive look. Because usually, if you want to look very expressive, uh, you want to get that sort of squish and squash effect, you know, like the principles of animation basically, if that makes sense. Um, but either way, I'm going to show you how to do that. So. Pretty much, um, I'm, I'm not sure exactly what to call this, I'm just gonna call it something, you, uh, like a squishier tracking I guess, I don't know what to call this tutorial, but either way, I'll show you how to do it with my model, uh, this is, my eyes are not moving because this is a work in progress model, um, so please excuse some parts being broken, um, I'll make sure to, you know, eventually you'll see like the final fix up of the tracking basically. But either way, I'm gonna go ahead and pause the tracking. I'm gonna hit the X button, which you should be able to see my screen properly basically. And what I'm going to do, pretty much, is that I'm gonna go down and find my cheek squint. We're gonna start off with cheek squint. So like I've mentioned in this other tutorial, um, cause I made a tutorial where I was talking about how to get that sort of smile blink effect on your air kit blend shapes. Well, it's kind of similar to that basically, so what I would personally do, and like I said, if you have no idea what the heck I'm doing right now, I recommend please check out my air kit tutorial as it goes over pretty much the basics on making air kit blend shapes, and then you can also check out pretty much um, my other tutorial about the smile blink effect if you want to achieve that. I have pretty much two other tutorials on air kit. I also have an outdated tutorial you could check out, but I don't recommend that. But anyways though. Pretty much, um, what you're going to do is you're going to grab your sculpt brush, so you're going to go into sculpt mode, and you're going to make sure you're on the cheek squint left, basically. And you're going to make sure that the pin button is on. And what you're going to basically do is you're going to grab the cheek, and you're just going to, like, point it outward. Don't overdo it. You can also increase the radius to make it more balanced, but you could just squeeze it out. Um, it doesn't have to be in an angle like this. That's how I did it with Lysia's blend shapes. Um, but you can also have it just like this basically instead if you really want this and then you could also do the same thing to the other side basically pretty much that um, once again take your time editing it you know you don't want it to be too extreme or anything like that but you want it to be like subtle I guess but once again I'm just demonstrating this to you so this is pretty much what I did on Lysia's blend shapes basically just that and then pretty much um, the last thing was the mouse shifting, the mouse left and right. So I went to mouse left and I pretty much did the exact same thing. Pretty, pretty simple. Just take the cheek, drag it, you're done. Nothing complicated, that was only like one click. One click, drag, you're done. Click on mouse right and then click on the cheek and move it outward. Like that. It doesn't, like I said, it doesn't have to be exactly like that, but that's pretty much something you can do. And then you just click on connecting, uh, disable the thing, and you can see, when I do the cheek squint, you can see that the thing is puffing up. See? Pretty much. Of course, once again, like I said, you can always edit... Uh, you can even, if you want to get that sort of squish effect how I did with Lysia's blend shape, you can make sure that your cheek puffs are not too big, but like decently big. So that way, you know, you can achieve that sort of fluid look to the face basically. But once again, you're not limited to what I just did right there. I just wanted to show another example because a lot of people kept asking me how to achieve that effect basically. So pretty much... That's pretty much all I did, but once again, though, don't be limited on the air kit documentation on what they say. You can do some crazier stuff. So let's say, for example, on mouse shifting, you can make it where, let's say, your eyebrow, like one of your eyebrows, basically, um, can actually go downward. So if you have a hard time, well, because the thing is, is that for iPhone, they 
don't, at least for the apps that we have right now, technically there's a way, but it's like, I'm not going to go over complicated. But usually when it comes to the eyebrows, our eyebrows are not individually tracked. So a way you can actually, for example, um, I guess just to show you another example, basically, um, you can have it where if I have the mouth going this way, that the eyebrow here, right? You can have it go down, um, which I'll have to pin it, make it move down. Just, just, just doing this really quickly, just so I can show you it, uh, to give you more ideas. But you could do that, and then that. See, mm, pretty much. Um, experiment basically if you um, once again of course remember not to go too much on the blend shapes as you really don't want to look really weird but if you're into it uh, by all means do whatever you want with the blend shapes it is your blend shapes not mine I'm just demonstrating what I did with Lysia's blend shapes so that way you can also get some inspiration for your blend shapes on how to be basically be more expressive a thing that you can do regarding um, let's say you want to do the eye eyebrows um, moving individually so whenever I wink the eyebrows will move down you can also pretty much do that as well um, which pretty much you can see for example this is my blink blend shape regarding the eyebrow going down which is what I personally have on my dream mall if you want to have that sort of effect basically but also keep in mind too, make sure you play with adjust motion, uh, the uh, adjust motion weights on eye facial mocap and face motion 3D, if you have face motion 3D. And pretty much, um, besides that, uh, once again, if you're wide AO, uh, you can also mess with the power settings. If you're a VTube Studio user, then just make sure that, um, you mess with the parameters and stuff. It's not, once again, it just depends on what your usage is, but yeah, pretty much. Pretty much, um, I hope, uh, don't get limited on what Erica tells you, don't get limited on what I'm telling you in this tutorial. Go crazy with your blend shape, do crazy stuff. You can even have it, once again, like, for example, before I end, um, you can have it where your tongue can follow your mouth shifting. Like, you can have it, I I'm gonna show you one last example, cause, um, once again, I wanna give you one last idea. Um, one, one last idea. So I'm gonna go ahead and select my tongue, right? And I can have it where, um, not that, um, I can have it where the tongue is moving this way, basically. Where it's, like, rotated towards my mouth, depending on the direction. That way, um, when I stick out my tongue and do a mouth shift, which I can't really do a mouth shift and open my mouth at the same time, but you can see, uh, when I do the mouth shifting, you can see the tongue move. Which, if you're able to do the tongue stick out, uh, if you're able to do the tongue stick out pretty much and have your mouth shifting, yeah, you can also do that. But hopefully this tutorial helps out. And, uh, yeah, um, let me know what you guys think. And if you have any other questions about 3D stuff, let me know. And, yes, have a lovely day, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!